What's up? This is Josh from CaliforniaThroughMyLens.com. Today I'm going to show you 10 things to do in Coronado. Coronado Island, which is not really an island but more of a peninsula, is one of my favorite places to visit while in San Diego. The island has a lot of charm with historic old buildings, fun restaurants, great beaches, and beautiful views of the San Diego skyline. Here are 10 things you can do while you're there. My first recommendation is Hotel Del Coronado. Hotel Del Coronado is the most recognizable place on Coronado Island with its white and red exterior. It's actually the second largest wood building in the United States and was said to be an inspiration for the Emerald City in the Wizard of Oz. Nowadays, you can walk through the hotel, go shopping on its bottom floor, or even eat at one of its restaurants. It's especially fun to visit during Christmas when they have a tree in the lobby and an ice rink outside next to the sand. Recommendation number two is Coronado Beach. Coronado Beach is directly outside of the Hotel Del Coronado, and it's a large stretch of sand that is extremely popular during the summer, but beautiful to visit year-round. From here you can see over to Cabrillo National Monument and you can often see military vehicles flying by and taking off over the ocean. Fun fact, the small sand dunes are said to spell out Coronado from the air which you can see in Google Maps satellite view. This is a great spot if you're looking for a nice beach on a beautiful San Diego summer day. Recommendation number three is to check out some of the unique Wizard of Oz history on the island. Frank Baum, who wrote The Wizard of Oz, lived near Star Park and you can still see his original house. It's a private residence so don't get too close, but they have a Wizard of Oz sign and some other memorabilia around the property. Also you can go to the Free Museum in downtown and see three first editions of his famous books there as well. Lastly, as I said earlier, the Hotel Del Coronado was supposedly an inspiration for the author while he was writing. Recommendation number four is to go biking around Coronado Island. Coronado has a bike path that goes pretty much the entire way around the island and it's one of my favorite things to do while in the area. The path is pretty easy to follow and it has amazing views of San Diego on one side and a beach on the other. There's many places to rent bikes around the city and you can stop and grab lunch or a drink and make a half day out of this trip if you'd like. Recommendation number five is Tidelands Park. Tidelands is probably my favorite park on the island as it has amazing views of the Coronado Bridge. The Coronado Bridge is a famous landmark in San Diego and this is one of the best ways to see it up close. You can walk along the bike path and be right underneath the bridge if you want to take pictures of it. And there's a small beach here, which is a popular spot to put in a kayak and kayak out under the bridge as well. Recommendation number six is to spend some time walking around downtown Coronado. Downtown Coronado on Orange Street is a fun area to stroll with shopping, food, and historic things to see. The old bank building is a beautiful structure from the early 1900s near the end of Orange Street and the visitor center has a free museum that you can visit during the day as well. Plus you can visit my favorite ice cream parlor which is the next stop on the list. Recommendation number 7, Moo Time Creamery. Moo Time Creamery has been a Coronado staple for years with great ice cream and fun statues of Elvis and a cow outside of the parlor. This isn't just a tourist trap though, as the ice cream is actually really good here. My favorite is the black raspberry and the cake batter, plus you can get any flavor you want put in between two chocolate chip cookies as well. It's especially good on a hot summer day. Recommendation number 8 is Coronado Brewing Company. Coronado Brewing Company's beer gets shipped all over California, but the brewery itself is located on the east side of Coronado. They have a large restaurant here as well and the food is actually really good and complements the beer. My favorite things to have here are the fish tacos, grilled not fried, and the soft pretzel with cheese sauce and mustard. It's hard for me to not get one of those two things when I go and they always pair well with one of their beers. Recommendation number 9 is to take the ferry to downtown San Diego. If you're staying in San Diego then don't take a car over to the island, take the ferry. The ferry runs many times per day and only costs 5 to 10 bucks. Even if you aren't staying in downtown San Diego, taking the ferry is a lot of fun and it gives you great views of the city, even if it's just a round trip without getting off. If you're planning on doing this, take the one that goes to Broadway Pier as it's a 15 minute ride instead of a 5 minute ride to Convention Center. I love getting out on the water on the ferry and seeing the great views of downtown San Diego. My last recommendation is Centennial Park. Centennial Park has one of the best views of the San Diego skyline on Coronado Island. 
This park was the original ferry landing and it has a historic structure and a few plaques to showcase that. Walking out to the overlook provides an amazing view of the skyline and it can be a great stop for sunset with the light reflecting off the buildings. There are also a few small sand beaches here for children to play at, but not the ones you'd want to lay out all day at. Thanks so much for exploring Coronado with me. Hopefully you found a new spot to explore next time you're in the area. Let me know if I left something off in the comments. You can go to CaliforniaThroughMyLens.com for more. We will see you guys next week.